Hello friends, today we are discuss regarding the wall timing diagram of four stroke diesel engine. Then firstly, for the theoretical and actual PV diagram for compression ignition engine that is four stroke diesel engine, the following assumptions are made for ideal condition. The suction that is 0 to 1. The suction 0 to 1 in PV diagram and exhaust that is 1 to 0, which is shown in PV diagram, take place at atmospheric pressure and its work through 180 degree of crank rotation. The compression that is 1 to 2, which is shown in PV diagram, and expansion stroke that is 3 to 4 in PV diagram are isentropic. Moreover, it takes place through 180 degree of a crank rotation. The next one is the combustion that is 2 to 3 that is constant pressure process. Takes place at a constant pressure during small part of expansion stroke. And the last one is at the end of expansion stroke, the pressure suddenly dropped that is 4 to 1 drop pressure in PV diagram to the atmospheric pressure. All the above assumptions are not existing in the actual working cycle and the PV diagram drawn for the engine needs to modify as per the actual working cycle. The actual working conditions are differ from the ideal condition that is the during suction stroke. During suction stroke 0 to 1 only air is entered into the engine cylinder if the pressure inside the cylinder is below the atmosphere then and then the fresh air enter into the engine cylinder the burnt gas can be knocked out into the atmosphere from the cylinder only if the exhaust gases that is 1 to 0 exhaust gases have higher pressure than the atmospheric pressure the next one is there will be a heat and pressure losses during the compression and expansion processes. That's why it does not follow the isentropic process. The combustion at the constant pressure, the combustion process at the at constant pressure is not possible as the fuel will not burn as soon as it is introduced into the engine cylinder. After opening of expansion valve, after opening of expansion valve, the sudden pressure release is not possible and it takes place through some crank rotation. If all these modifications are considered, then the PV diagram is like this. Now, what is wall timing diagram? The wall timing diagram shows the position of crank when the various operations that is suction, compression, expansion and exhaust. The valve, the mechanism of valve operating can provide for smooth transition from one position to another while the cam setting determine the timing of valve. Now we are move forward for our valve timing diagram. This is our top dead center and bottom dead center. Firstly, the inlet valve opening. The inlet valve opens a few degree before the piston reaches at a TDC. During exhaust stroke, this is necessary to ensure that the valve will fully open and fresh atmospheric air enter into the cylinder as soon as the piston starts to move down. If the inlet valve is closed at BDC, inlet valve is closed at BDC. The cylinder would fill up with less air than its capacity and the pressure of air will be below atmosphere. To revoke this situation, the inlet valve open for 10 to 25 degree before the TDC and it closes at 30 to 50 degree after BDC and the compression stroke is start.
the opening of fuel valve the opening of fuel valve before tdc is necessary for better evaporation and mixing of fuel there is always lag between supply of fuel and ignition it is always necessary to supply the fuel little earlier than its fuel injection start from 10 to 15 degree before tdc and the fuel injection stops from 15 to 25 degree after tdc it is obvious that the valve overlapping provide for diesel engine is 45 degree is sufficiently larger compare with the petrol engine that is 30 degree more valve opening is not advisable in petrol engine because the mixture of air and fuel may pass out with the exhaust gases and it is uneconomical this case does not arise in the diesel engine because only air is taken during the suction stroke and the power stroke will start here for complete removal of burnt gases from the engine cylinder which is essential to take more amount of fresh charge earlier opening of the exhaust valve before reaching tdc facilitate the removal of the burnt gases the kinetic energy of fresh air which is entering from the inlet valve will also help to remove of burnt gases from the cylinder to atmosphere and the exhaust valve open at 30 to 45 degree before bdc and this is our valve overlap for diesel engine here the summary of inlet valve and exhaust valve opening and closing the inlet valve open 10 to 25 degree before tdc inlet valve close 30 to 50 degree after bdc exhaust valve open 30 to 45 degree before bdc and exhaust valve close 15 to 30 degree after tdc fuel injection start 10 to 15 degree before tdc and injection stops 15 to 25 degree after tdc thank you everyone jai hind